Hello, my friends. This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're going to dive into how do you create a dynamic filter uh, for Tableau where both the start date and the end date are dynamic. So if you want to anchor on something like the last two weeks or the last 30 days, you can, but it gets better. Those start and end dates are also adjustable for your user. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into that. I'm just going to show you what that may look like. So as an example, this is the way I'll often set it up with clients. It'll just default to something like the last two weeks, but if they want to get in there and they want to change that date range, you know, by all means, you can do that. Okay. So uh, we're going to, well, let me just show you that it actually works. I'm not just messing with you here. All right. So let's dive into an example uh, or, or actually build something like this out from scratch. So I do have this template. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description to two things. Um, this sort of pre pre well, I'll give you the complete version of this. So if you just want to reverse engineer, you can, but I'll also give it to you before we've made all these alterations and additions. So if you want to do this from scratch, you can also do that. Okay. Now let me just jump into a, a worksheet and let me explain why a relative date filter is probably not going to quite cut it. So you might be seeing all this and thinking, this is a lot of hoopla when we could just throw the order date filter on here, pick relative date and say something like, eh, just give me data from the last 14 days, or sorry, the last two weeks or last 14 days. Um, and, and that's great, but a relative date filter by default will anchor on today's date. Um, and you can't really change that anchor. You can, you can make it a different static date but you can't really make it a dynamic date, right? So if I went in there, notice it says anchor relative to, and I can say today, or I can pick another day, but not dynamic, right? So, okay, that's a little bit too inflexible probably for what we want. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to create um, start and end date parameters. Okay, so what our end date be? Uh, the end date would be today. Today, as I shoot this is April 10th. You're probably seeing this month down the road, but that's all right, it shouldn't all be the same. Uh, so I say, okay, date, April 10th, uh, allowable values, all that's good. That'll make it look like a, a kind of a calendar view when they're selecting the date. And let me go ahead and, and show that end date parameter. Now let's duplicate that parameter. So I'm going to right click and duplicate parameter in my data pane. Um, let's edit this one, the copy. This will become our start date parameter. And I'm just gonna manually set it back a couple weeks right now. So that would be 329, 2024 would be uh, 13 days ago. And that looks good for now. I'm gonna show this. All right. And then we're gonna create a calculated field that says, I'll just call this like, you know, in date range T slash at, so true or false. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll say, okay, is the order date greater than or equal to the start date? And is the order date less than or equal to the end date? Okay. Um, so let's say, okay, here, and I actually, I want to point something out really quick. It, this may not cause you a problem, but it may, this has really screwed me up in the past. Um, currently my order date is a date and time field whereas my parameters are just date fields. I would say as much as possible in Tableau, you don't wanna mix and match dates and date times because funny things can happen. Honestly, I don't remember the exact rules, but you know, if you had something where the, I can't remember like if Tableau counts a date field as happening on midnight or just after midnight or whatever it may be, but I've had situations before where something definitely happened on a given day, like it happened on April 10th, but it was midnight, so it didn't count because the filter, whatever. Take my word for it as much as possible. Make these the same data type. So you can do that here. Like I could just change the data type for this field to be a date field here, and then I shouldn't have any issues. Um, or you can do it in the calculation either way, uh, but try and make sure that those are the same uh, data type. Okay. Uh, now we've done that. So now we can put our in date range, true, false field on filters, say true, say, okay. It filters this worksheet. Let's right click and hit the drop down. apply to worksheets, selected worksheets. And I'll just go ahead and pick, I think pretty much everything. I, yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. Okay. So you might be thinking, this is not dynamic yet. I know, I know, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, I promise you. Uh, so let's go to one of these worksheets, hit the drop down, and bring our parameters in. So there's our start date parameter. Here's our end date parameter. I've got a nice little text box ready for us up here already. Let me throw a horizontal, oh, it's already a horizontal container. What do you know? 
All right, um, so these this text box is already in a horizontal container. I can tell that because of the blue border. I'm gonna put a link in the description to layout containers. If you wanna learn more about them, you can do so in that video. So let me drop these in here. The, the benefit of putting these in a container is that I could just pick a particular width that I want them to be. Like I could say, each of these is gonna be exactly 150 pixels wide, make them look nice just the way that I would want them to. Cool. All right. Uh, so nothing is dynamic yet, right? If the, the, the bummer about this would be if I publish this right now and I come back to this in a month on May 10th, it's still going to be set to this date range, March 29th to April 10th. So that's not really nice. Uh, I probably could guess you don't want to be having to publish this thing every day to keep it up to date because that would stink. Uh, so let's talk about how we make it dynamic. Uh, so there's really two pieces to this. Um, the first is to create a calculation that will just return the date that we want the parameter to pick. So how do we make that dynamic? All right, so what I would do first of all is I'm gonna create a calculated field and there are kind of a couple options here. So if, if your data is always gonna be up to date, right? Like I open it on April 10th and we should have April 10th data, then in some ways that makes our life easy. We could just have a date filter that says today, okay? And if we did that and say, okay, what I could do is edit my end date parameter. And when it says value when workbook opens, let me go to this little breakout here, I could pick that today calculation, okay? So today's April 10th, so if I open it, it's April 10th. If I open it tomorrow, it's April 11th. So it's gonna dynamically update, okay? So that would work. However, if your data is not always up to date, or let's say I open it on April 10th and actually the latest date is April 9th, like there's a one day lag, Maybe I don't want today. So you could do today minus one. That would give you yesterday. Or here's a different way to do it and an option that we often utilize, which is give me the maximum date. Okay, so if I said something like max order date, tricky, that's actually not going to work, okay? Yet, I'll show you why. Okay, so Tableau considers an aggregation. Um, how, how should I say this? An aggregation in Tableau can adjust in the worksheet based on the other dimensions that are there. So max order date when there's no dimensions would give you the latest date. But if you broke it down by product, it's gonna show you the maximum order date by product, right? Uh, so because of that, Tableau says, well, actually that's not a valid option here. You need to give me a field that is gonna give me the same number all the way down. Like the entire column is gonna spit out the same number. So how do you do that? Uh, how it would handle that is with a level of detail expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this in just the curly braces. So curly brace, max order date, and curly brace. Okay, we got a couple videos on that topic. I'll link those down below. Uh, but essentially, now the entire column in your data set would just return that same date, in this case, uh, April 10th, over and over again. So I could say, yeah, when the workbook opens, anchor this thing on the max order date. Okay. And then I need to create another calculated field to be able to get, in this case, if we want a 14 day range, that includes today's date, then we want to find, uh, you know, I guess go back 13 days, you would say, right? So through, uh, say like max order date minus 13 days. Okay. So let's check this out. So we would say, uh, you know, date diff in day. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, no, I think that's a little differently. I would say date add day minus 13 to the max order date. Okay, so take me back 13 days. What is that day? Okay, so let's check this out. Is this available for us here? If we edit our parameter and we hit the drop down. What should the value be when the workbook opens? It's not. What's going on there? Well, I guess a couple of things. Actually, I just noticed that it's a date time field by default. So that may be part of our problem. We can try and do a quick conversion there. So let's just wrap this in the date function. That's another way to convert it to just a date field. Now is it available? Oops, wrong drop down here. No, still not. So what we need to do, and, and this is just something I've learned a little bit through trial and error, is just apply the same uh, you know, level of detail to this as well. Uh, meaning, 
if we wrap it with the curly brace and then max, and then give me the date, close parenthesis, close curly brace, Tableau's a bit happier with this. Okay, so now I go to my start date parameter one more time, hit our drop down. What should the value be when the workbook opens? This one, max order date minus 13 days. Okay. Oh, and actually that popped us all the way back to uh, April 20, uh, March 28th. I can't do math. So whatever, I'm going to call that good. Maybe, maybe my math's bad. I don't know. Um, so anyways, there you go. So now I can see it is set to March 28th to April 10th right now. But if I open this tomorrow, it will have shifted. It will be March 29th to April 11th. Okay. Um, and that will be true whether I open it on Tableau Desktop, whether I open it on Tableau Cloud, Server, Public, this is applicable everywhere. Um, so a couple kind of closing thoughts on that. So first of all, thanks for being here. And uh, if you need help on this, we offer office hours. So, you know, you don't have to commit to us like some big consulting firm. You can just book us for one hour at a time to help you. So if you're building out your own custom date filter and you're kind of stuck on something, um, you can book, you can also just comment. I mean, we're happy to help, you know, as much as we can for free too, but you can also book and just work with us directly. We got Tableau classes. Uh, so you can really dive deep and master Tableau. There's an info button up here and there's info in the description uh, about those classes. Um, so that's a big part of how we create these dynamic filters that shift with us. And I just used like a two week window as an example, but you're not tied to that, right? It could be a one week window. It could be a 30 day window. It could be a five weeks. Like you don't have to use days. I just happen to use days. Um, but you know, this, this formula, he, formula here, date add, this could be anything you want, right? If I just set this to minus 29, then it would be going back, you know, 30 to, you know, a month roughly. So, uh, that really is, is dynamic and, and up to you. And even this date part here, it doesn't have to be day. It could be week, it could be year. It's up to you. Okay. So yeah, thank you for checking this out. Uh, we put videos like this out every single week. We've got a bunch of other date filtering videos. So if this didn't answer your exact question, check out the description below. There's a bunch of others there. Um, so thank you so much for following along and we hope to see you here next week for another Tableau and data related video. Thanks.